Welcome. Only 334 more videos to go. Well, let me draw an atom. That was easy. Uh, can you see it? Let me just draw an arrow towards it. Well, actually, that's 10 million times bigger than an atom. That tiny little dot just there. Now, atoms are really, really small, so I'm going to need a really big number in order to handle them properly in chemistry. So I can have enough atoms that I can see them and, and manipulate them. Let's choose hydrogen. Why not? It's the simplest element, most common element in the universe. And why not choose the simplest mass, one gram? So if I have one gram of hydrogen, how many atoms will I have? And one gram of hydrogen atoms. Count them if you want. I'm waiting. All right. That's the answer. Six with 23 zeros after it. That is a huge number. But that's how many hydrogen atoms in one gram of hydrogen atoms. Now I can't write it like that, I'm going to use scientific notation. 6.02 times 10 to the 23, you're expected to remember that number. Well, how big is that number? Can you give me some examples? Well, if I had 6.02 times 10 to the 23 grains of salt, you could build a cube that would stretch from England all the way over to France. If you had 6.02 times 10 to the 23 marshmallows, it would stretch a third of the way to the moon, assuming you piled them up on America. What sort of marshmallows? I, I don't know, vanilla ones. Does it matter? And there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23 milliliters of water in the Pacific Ocean. It's a big number, bigger than you can possibly imagine. But it is just a number. Just like two is a pair, 12 is a dozen, 13, well that's a baker's dozen, 144 is a gross, 500 is a ream, and 6.02 times 10 to the 23 well, they decided to call that a mole. Not after the animal or the skin problem, after kind of molecule, molecular. And it's named in honor also of Avogadro. It's called Avogadro's number. Big number and an ugly guy. I urge you to look up his picture. People do struggle with this, but it is just a number. It's a big number, but it's just a number. Now, the IB could make it a little more complicated for you, though they never have, but it is in the syllabus that if you have the unit per mole, it is now Avogadro's constant. Like I said, they've never asked about this, but it is in the syllabus. You could write it like that, or indeed mole to the minus one. So why would you bother putting that in? Well, let me give you an example using dozens. That's easier. So for example, how many crowbars in one and a half dozen crowbars? Thank you, Gordon Freeman. Let's just write out the equation. Ah, so 12 per dozen. That's analogous to... Uh, 6.02 times 10 to the 23 per mole. That's why that unit is there. Because I'm going to do something clever with that unit in a second. That gives me 18. Cancel out the dozens on the top and on the bottom. And that just leaves me with crowbars. So the Avogadro's constant will do the same sort of thing in, in future videos. But it allows you to cancel out the units. Oh, and by the way, they decided that the number of atoms in 12 grams of carbon-12 was going to be their new standard. Not one gram of hydrogen.